there's been something that I've never thought it would happen to me, which is to, to lose track of the times technologically. Like I've always thought to myself, like, man, I'm always going to be in step with the latest trends. I'm never going to fall behind. Like wh- whether it's Snapchat, whether it's TikTok, I'm always going to be up to date. I look at the, you know, my parents' generation and they say like, oh, just wait one day, you know, your kids are going to get past you. You're not going to understand it. And I'm like, yeah, right. Not me. Right. Like that's not going to happen to me. I felt it happen man, officially. I, I get it now. I get it how people of one generation simply can't keep up with the next generation. Even tech wise, like when it comes to. Could um, you elaborate on that? Like, what do you mean? Like, yeah, give me like, an example. How much technology does your mom use on her phone? She uses iMessage. Does she know how to text? Yeah. So she can keep up with texting? Yeah. Is she on Facebook? No. Very minimal. She uses very minim- minimal compared to us. Okay. Absolutely. Um, so Facebook is like the bound of her kind of limit. Yeah. She on Snapchat? No, she doesn't she, get so, to any of that. So, so just, whole, just texting, calling, that's it for her. So even the language, like, yo, I'm going to snap you later. <laughs> yeah. If you say, I'm going to snap you, your mom has no idea what she you're might, talking what about. What you right? about, yeah. Um, is she on Instagram? Yep. She has no idea what filters are, right? Yep. Like, yo, that's a dope filter. Yep. She has no idea, yep. right? So that's what I, what I meant. I swore one time, like, that would never happen to me, man. Like, you know me. Right? Like, I'm the, I'm the early adopter with everything tech. Drones, Bitcoin, blockchains, you know how I am, right? So I always swore that would never happen to me, but like... When did it happen? I'm shocked. It's not really an event. That's, that's the epiphany that I had. It's not really that it happened as in like, I lost track of the news. Not really. Like, I still know what TikTok is. Um, it happened uh, June 5th was the exact date I looked at it recently of 2000 and I think 19, last year. I read an article. I read an article that fucking blew my mind. Okay. And Do you know what Apple's AirDrop is? Yeah, I use it all the time. What's, what's AirDrop? AirDrop is a way for you to send data between your devices. Um, let's say iPhone to Mac, MacBook to Mac. It doesn't have to be yours. It could be yours. Or it could be, it could be a, someone else, yeah. It's basically, it's a way to transfer mm-hmm. photos, data, whatever, between, between devices. That's what I thought AirDrop was too until June 5th of last year when I read this article that blew my fucking mind. Kids these days are using AirDrop AirDrop to create decentralized ad hoc social networks that are location specific. What? So they'll go to uh, their auditorium for, for a school rally or something. They whip out their phones. They'll put in funny names because, you know, your device has a name. So when I airdrop, it so says you SK's the name. Yep. So they'll be like uh, Trump's hair. And they'll start tweeting ridiculous memes of Trump's hair to random people in, in attendance. And that's like a new way of communicating. Wait, wait, wait. Why would you tweet, though? Why? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say tweet. Uh, they would airdrop, airdrop yeah, yeah, yeah. random memes to strangers. And it's like this unwritten rule that... So Trump's hair, and now they're right. sending you all these pictures or memes of and Trump's hair. So, you know, you pull out your phone, and you're about to receive That's funny... That's entertaining. You're about to receive in a way. funny, interesting, offensive, sexually charged memes, pictures, videos. Te- you don't know what you're going to wow. get. Wow. Because okay. it's like this unspoken rule. Like, yo, let's everybody's on the same page. Let's airdrop. Teachers can't stop it. Teachers are the ones receiving obscene, you know what I mean, crazy shit, because they don't know who it's coming from. So airdrop is now a social network for these teens. <sighs> Well, damn, I fell off too. And uh, there was one kid flexing like, oh man, I'll go to like a basketball game and I got like 20 new Instagram followers because they'll Snapchat their Instagram and they'll airdrop it, random people like, yo, follow me. And then they'll get followers. So it's a way for people. It's like Tinder in a way. It, it's, it, it, but in a different way. I mean, because it it's be like, Tinder, it's like, yeah, it's like, I don't know. <laughs> why you get on Tinder is you want to meet new dates. Here, it's like now you're using airdrop as a medium to meet and talk to new people. Yeah. It's like, yeah. hey, this is me. Yeah. If you choose, you could be, you know, linked to your real profile. Yeah. You could spread, spread misinformation, funny shit. Yeah. Uh, people, are, kids are using it to cheat in school. Wow. So you can just take a picture and airdrop it now Absolutely. with all your answers. Yeah. Scantron, airdrop, yeah. boom. Yeah. And um, wow. That moment was June 5th when I read this article. I have it saved on my computer. I was looking mm-hmm. over it. That's when I realized I had the epiphany. It's not so much that you as a person lose track with the technological trends you're removed from the context of kids and how they use it. Like when you're in school, you're objected to really specific constraints socially, right? Like mm-hmm. 
No phones, no talking in class. When somebody tells you you can't talk to your best friend in class, what do you do? They say necessity is the mother of all inventions. You text. So now kids start being inventive, yeah. right? They start uh, trying to find ways to pass notes. Back in our days, you pass a note. Now you could text. Guess what? They have a cell blocker. No more cell service. Okay. Airdrop. Now I could airdrop. Um, so they start coming up with different ways. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so, so they just now write your message, screen cap. Way crazier than that. Way crazier than that. Another crazy tweet, which I'm probably linking here, that I saw was a video. Airdrop. That, not airdrop. Dude, oh, airdrop tweet? is okay. like two years ago. Okay. The, new, the new shit is AirPods. Follow closely because this shit like, took me like two, three watches to understand what these kids are doing. Imagine I got an iPhone with two AirPods in my ears. You got the same. You got your iPhone with your AirPods. Um, we swap one headphone. So you have one of mine, I have one of yours. Exactly. I go to Google Translate and I type out what I want to tell you. Yo, the answer is B. And I hit that icon that reads the text out loud. And when I hit it, you're going to hear my phone in your ear telling you the answer is B. And then you do the same and I'm going to hear your phone in my ear. So you tell me all I need is long hair. Or a hat. Or yeah, whatever. Long hair, but probably wins. Yeah. You, you got the mechanism, right? So these kids are like, they're inventing new methods. And it's not so much that I don't know what an iPhone is. I own AirDrop, uh, Air, AirPods. Is that they're using it in different ways, which are informed by the context of real life. I'm no longer in school, so I'm not forced to be inventive. And that's, that's why I'm, I'm missing out and I'm being left behind. It's not because I don't know what an Air, AirPod is. And that's the epiphany that I had. It's that I'm, I am falling behind, but it's not because I'm not reading. It's just the world is different now. My school experience was like, you pass a note. These kids now, Air I mean, Lord knows, the yeah, notes. They're, they're being creative that, and it's not to say that you and I wouldn't have come up with that scheme if, if we were forced in those circumstances. We're just not forcing those circumstances. So we have no need to, you know, entertain it whatsoever. Being left behind isn't isn't somebody who's ignorant. It's somebody who just doesn't who lives outside of the youth's world. The youth lives in a different world than us. And they have different problems, they have different circumstances, they have different standards of things, and they adapt. We're no longer forced to adapt to that world. And that's when I realized, like, damn, fuck, I'm falling out. Never would have thought in a million years to use Google Translate to swap out AirPods so we can... What? That, that never would have crossed my mind. That gets me thinking, like, I wonder what else we're missing out on. When it, and, you know, because technology is kind of redefining the way you interact with people. When it comes to dating in high school, like, what kind of weird new fucking mechanisms or ways to show somebody you like and make... Airdrop. I mean, that, I just said it. Like, that that's might be an obvious yeah. one, but, like, what if there's something completely different now? Well, what if it's to go home and print your Snapchat QR code and leave it in your crush's locker so she comes home and she comes to the locker and she sees a QR code yeah, and she scans it and then sees who you are? You don't know what's happening anymore. And that's what it means to be left out. That's what it means, you know, to say, mm-hmm. damn, you guys live in a different world now, you know? So, yeah, man. And, and that's a parallel like I, I, I tied with music. It's whatever mind state you're in, you can't recapture it. Whatever experiences we went through, middle school, high school, those formative years. That was our unique experience. We don't know what these kids are going through. And it's just dope for me to see that kids are being so creative in different ways, man, that we, we had no idea, you know? That's what I like the most about the whole story is just, damn, creativity, man, human creativity. Every time you impose and you try to oppress people, don't talk, don't communicate. Shit, jammers. Fucking humans overcome that shit, man. And kids are like that rebellion. That's what I'm talking about with rap. It's like, that's what gravitated. That's why I gravitated to it. The rebellion. It's like, yo, you tell me I can't talk to my friends. All right. But I'm going to show you how. I'm going to think about it now. I'm going to yeah. come up with different schemes and, you know, yeah. augmented realities around the corner. What happens when I can leave a virtual note on my teacher's desk? My teacher can't see it, but everybody else can pull out their phones and put a little secret code and you can see... Some crazy so fucking to all be on meme. the same, yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah, man. Like, I don't know. AR is around the corner. Virtual reality is popping up. I'm just really curious to just be in the loop 
secondhand, if I can be first person experiencing these things, at least I want to read about it. Which that's you, fucking or fascinating. You just need a kid who's in that system. Exactly. Exactly. You know, when my son gets old enough and he's in school. I'm like, yeah. yo, what, like, what was the, I'd be that old guy. You know what I mean? Like, yo man, trying to fit in with the kids. Like, what are y'all doing these days? Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if like, you know, Instagram might be the new uh, Facebook, you know, it might be the platform that just, it's Prevails. not popping anymore. Yeah. It's not, no, the opposite. Oh, it you're saying dies down. Instagram dies. I mean, Instagram is probably going to die the same way Facebook died. It's going to keep growing, but it's not the, the kid. My theory, man, is that the heart of society is the youth. That's what makes change. That's what drives the culture. That, that's everything. The kids drive everything, man. Think about it. Even if, if um, it goes back to your favorite artist, like you want to tweet and make your favorite artist popular. Like, yo, we're adults. We got work in the morning. We got kids. We got responsibilities. Teenagers, they have nothing else, else to do. So They'll be all crazy. night fucking going nuts, yeah. right? They'll spend all their hard-earned money on concerts. They'll support whatever crazy group is out there. They're, they're relentless. We're not. We have finite energy, that fucking infinite energy. They're, they're wild. And they get to decide like a lot of this, these trends that we have to live with. The kids can prop up Taylor Swift, teenage girls. I mean, who else? Think about it, right? Like, who else would prop up Taylor Swift? Teenage girls. Like, five, six years ago, when did she pop up? Yeah, something like that. Maybe it was 10, teenage, maybe yeah, 10, man. Yeah. She, what is she singing about? Heartbreaks and shit. And, and you know, he left me. I went to bleachers or whatever. I don't, I don't even know. The girls, yeah, younger the teenagers, youth, man. Yeah, they love that, yeah. The youth drives the culture, you know? So it's unfortunate that I realize that I'm not part of the youth anymore. I'm like, I'm, I'm the outsider now. 